Well, greetings late night watch fans, and here's another boring roundup of a 1980s watch with me. So, just a quick whistle stop tour around a Casio W35 Marlin, which we think is from 1983, I'm not so sure. Uh, can't tell because the serial number on the back doesn't seem to indicate anything to do with the date. But there you go, Casio 248 module W35 made in Japan. Um, allegedly a 50 meter uh, watch um, with water resistance there. Um, would I go diving with it to 50 meters? I don't know. It's only got um, single O-ring gaskets on these pushers. Um, and it's quite an old watch now. But uh, I have got it wet a few times. It still seems to be surviving okay. Um, and I really love this watch. This is not the original bracelet on here. This is some aftermarket uh, bracelet that I found on eBay. Uh, but I do like a Jubilee. And I think it looks pretty nice with it. Um, let me just go you through some of the little cute features on this module. Uh, first of all, when you're setting the time, you go through seconds, hours, but then I like the way it goes through the uh, minutes. You go through the, the first part of the minutes and then the second one separately. Uh, that's just so weird. Month and day and uh, day of the week. Okay, now let's get out of this mode and we'll go to the first of the mode. I, let me just say, I, I love this module. I just, I find it it's so intuitive the way it works. It's really sweet and it's got so many cool little ideas like first of all stopwatch mode you notice as soon as you go into stopwatch the actual time at the moment goes into this um, top window and it does that in all of the modes stopwatch uh, timer alarm so you never don't know what the actual current time is when you're in one of these modes which is cool now stopwatch press the button to go and press the top button to um, show you the current time but carry on timing in the background so you press it again and it shows you where it's carrying on from press this button to stop it start again stop it and reset it which is cool timer you use the uh, setting button to choose um, What am I showing here? Sorry. Hours, minutes. How long you want your timer to go for. And then when it's actually timing, you press this button to start it. This is a countdown timer. And when it gets to zero, it beeps. And you press this button to reset it. An alarm. In this mode, obviously you can set the alarm by pressing the set button. I won't bother with showing you that, but this button, uh, sorry, this button sets the alarm to go off. And it gives a long old beep when it's the alarm. I think it's 30 seconds of beeping. And this button here, this setting, means that on the hour, it'll do a beep. Um, but interestingly, also on the half hour, it does a, a short little beep, which is nice. So you know the half hours are going by. You can have them both on like that. Let's hear that beep. We're just coming up to the hour now. Here we go. A few seconds. Let's hear that beep. Nice. Okay. Um, time that alarm. That's it. This is a simple watch. Hasn't got that much stuff going on. It's only got one other little um, Easter egg, which is when in stopwatch mode, if you're timing for quite a long time, every 10 minutes, it actually makes a beep. Just to tell you that a, a 10 minute increment has gone by. And it does the same thing in countdown timer mode. Every 10 seconds of countdown timer gives you a little beep, which is cute. 
And the only thing remaining to show you is the light. It's got a light. There. It's not the greatest, but it does do the job. Okay. Just wanted to show you this lovely little marlin. Everyone should have a marlin. They're an endangered species, you know. A little bit of trivia. It's not actually a marlin fish. That's a sailfish. It's got a big old sail on the back. Don't know why we call it a marlin when it's not a marlin. But still, cute little fish and a cute little watch. Good night, guys. Have a good evening.